What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Real Team, man. You're now checking out my boy, David Dwayne. Is yes, there? What's going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning back into On Air with David Dwayne right here, right now. We've got R&B recording artist and actor. You guys know who he is. You've seen him on Power. Got the IEP Royal Wednesday. Well, Timmy is with us. What's going on, man? What's up, man? Not much. I mean, it's so great to finally have you on the show. I mean, we've been on each other for a minute. So I've got to say congratulations on, you know, all the success. Because, I mean, you've been putting in that grind for years. And the people really got to know, like, you didn't just, like, jump on the scene. Like, you've been doing this. So congratulations on everything. I appreciate you. No doubt. No doubt. So, I mean, like, the last time we talked, I, I think I was in high school. And, you know, you had the song with Dawn and you put out resume. You put out a lot of, you know, mixes and stuff like that. And, you know, how would you say that everything has been from, you know, your beginning stages as an artist and um, as an actor to I'm um, now? For me, it's been a, a steady grind. You know, I was simultaneously learning myself as a man and trying to figure out exactly who I was as an artist, too. And uh, when, when I when I started acting, I did TV show Boss, you know, and that was my first audition, so I kind of got thrown into the acting world. But, you know, I've been doing music. I was touring um, all over the country and while I was in college. The mixtape, it was my first mixtape um, resume did really well. And a lot of things were hitting me at one time, but then once, the, once Boss took off, you know, I had to kind of just learn how to act and, and, and read reevaluate, you know, the, the, the plan at that point. And then um I just ha- I just happened to be able to record while I was still doing it and still be able to tour. I did one oh six park, you know, spotlight artists, you know, um I I went overseas a couple times and things like that. So it was it was good but you know, nothing like being a part of Now Power and able to, the ability to put out music now with my single Lotto and, you know, signing the G-Unit and being part of season two of Power and now season three. So it's been a lot, man. And then um shot a couple of mu- uh, movies, you know, I was a part of Divergent. I got a movie coming out next year called Deuces with Lance Gross, Megan Good, Lorenz Tate. Did a couple music videos with Cole, you know, Kiki Palmer. So we've been moving and moving and shaking for as long as I, you know, as long as I've been out of college. It's been a blessing, man. I like the fact that you've been able to, you know, keep it consistent. That it's not music one year, it's acting the next year. And um, let let me ask you about, you know, being in the uh, Black Nativity movie with, you know, Tyrese and uh Jacob Lattimore and you know uh Jennifer Hudson like what was that experience like you know being able to work with you know great entertainers such as them uh I learned a lot actually and you know Tyrese became like a big brother to me because you know he's also an actor singer and Jacob is a cool you know Jacob's been my friend you know for um since then so um just different relationships man I was able to watch how professionals handle themselves um uh you know what I mean? And, and, and those type of settings and nobody had an ego. And I was just able to learn, you know, just, just learn as much as I could about, you know, how to be a professional on a movie set. And I was just picking Tyrese's brain because, you know, at that time I was getting a little frustrated with, dang, like, you know, people don't really know that I do this music thing for real, like, to the level that I know I can. Right. And, you know, I got some good advice from him at that point where it was just like, listen, man, God's going to give you uh, exactly what you need at the right time and he's going to put you in rooms that... It'll help aid the dream. So once he had that conversation with me, that's what, you know, I think that was really one of the main things I took away from being a part of that movie. Exactly. And what was, like, the most frustrating part with, you know, people not really knowing that music was something first that you did because, like I said, you, you've you been doing that for years, and people really seeing, like, you know, you more so as an actor. How frustrated was that at times? Um, it was frustrating um, because it's frustrating because, I know what I can do and, you know, getting people to truly be able to grasp that, yo, you don't have to just be good at one thing, you know, I think people today in society try to put, uh, try to compartmentalize things and put things in a box that they can't really understand. So when somebody's good at multiple things, it just doesn't connect to them. So. I had to really realize that, you know, I have to make undeniable music. That's why I made Royal Wednesday, which is my, you know, my current project. And I wanted to give it away for free because I wanted people to understand that this is, this is really what I do. And, and, you know, and, you know, they also just the credibility, you know, people know you as one thing. They, it's hard to shake them out of it. So you just got to make undeniable products for people. Now let's talk about, you know, Royal Wednesday. Gotta say, such another great phenomenal project from you. 
um, you really did it. Like, I like the fact that um, you gave, you know, diversity. You gave, um, you got situations. You got Miss Jackson. Of course, you got the single lotto. You did a, you know, your own rendition, the Hotline Blank. Like, all types of different flavors going on. Like, what um, would you say, like, sound-wise kind of inspired this project versus, you know, the previous projects that you've done in the past? Um, I think for me, uh, it was um, a lot of my previous relationship that I was a, I was a part of, man, that, that was really... That I, I I wanted to focus on with this one. Like I've met amazing women. Like you know, I met a Miss Jackson who blew my mind. Like just how dope she was. And I've been around a girl that was um you know that was living foul. I was you know um once you back. I've seen my ex before in a club and said wow like dang I, I made a mistake. So everything that I lived and gone through in this past year of you know having this type of status now and growing, I had to document it. And that was really just the story. Like I wanted everybody to know you know, what I was seeing, what I was seeing for sure. So now, before we talk about um, the current single uh, situation, let's talk about, you know, how you and 50, you know, and how the whole um, power thing came about. Well, power on my audition, you know, I auditioned like everybody else, you know. Um, when I when I went into the room, though, I um, I brought props, and, you know, they'd never seen anybody bring actual props to, to to a um, audition, so I was just ready. I just really just honed in, man, and, and I and I I wanted this role so bad because I knew what it could possibly do for my life, and I went all out and I, I got it. And then when I was on set, I met Fifty, you know, episode one, and we were just he was just cool. We didn't really talk music. I made sure I didn't talk to him about music for like three months into it. You know what I mean? Right. Um, I didn't I didn't want to didn't want to come to him as a as a as another artist. Like, yo, man, check out my music. So we just built a friendship and and organically just started talking. And then one night I went to the studio and one of the A and R's of G Unit just happened to be in my session. And he heard my music and he said, Listen, man, I want to bring you to G Unit tomorrow. So I went to G Unit that next day and Fifty just happened to be in the office. And when he was mm. there, you know, he was like, Listen, man, what you doing here? I said, oh, I got some records, bro. I was playing. You know, Tony brought me over. Here. I played in Lotto, and now, like, he went crazy. We wanted to do a deal. He, he was blown away by the project project, and, 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 and my voice, and it really was just like, whoa, like, you really do do this. And now, you know, almost some time later, we're the number one added, you know, today I just found out that we're the number one added record, you know, on radio this week, you know, with Lotto in the nation wow. on Urban Charts. So. Yeah, so, and then I was just to continue to build that buzz and build the brand around it. But, yeah, so we saw a vision and we went away, we went right with it. That's amazing. And would you ever have thought that, like, you, that all of this would come out of, like, just one one situation with, with acting and then, you know, it brings you back to the full Like, did you ever think, like, it would happen like this or? I didn't think it would happen. Um, I didn't think it would happen this way. Uh, mm-hmm. ideally, I was like, man, if 50, if 50 could just listen to my stuff, maybe, you know, he'll jump on a record and maybe he'll, you know, just want to get on a single. But I never knew, I I never thought that he'd be invested in my project and want to sign me to do a deal and, you know, Capitol Records behind it. And I didn't, I didn't know all of this would happen, you know, and so the fact that it's happening this way is just incredible, man. I'm just so grateful, like truly grateful that, you know, that is happening at this time. Oh, definitely. And I'm glad it's happening for you because, I mean, you've been putting that serious grind and I try to tell people, like, you know, you put in grind like, you know, a boy wrote ten or how there are artists like that, you know, you can, like, you can make it. Like, it just takes that serious grind and, grind and dedication, you know, to the projects that you want to do. Yeah, you know, and it just took a good team. It took a lot of prayer. It took a lot of investment, investing, you know. My parents believed in me, so they put a lot of money up initially. And it's just good to see that they're getting their money back and, and they're proud of their son, you know. And I think that's really what it's all about, too. And you mentioned good team. And I know throughout the years, you changed your team up to really, you know, figure out uh, what the best team was for you. Now, going through that process, has that, you know, was that ever difficult trying to figure out, you know, okay, this is this person's good for the situation? Like, how how is that? Because you, you got a, you got a solid team right now and I gotta shut your team now um because I've been knowing them for years too like you've got a solid team it was uh again you know I was evolving as a man and as an artist and you know along the way I think people are putting your life so you could just learn you know learn different things from them and some management didn't work out we just had different vibes and different feelings and I thought I should be doing xyz they thought I should be doing this and it's okay to disagree 
Some other people were just shady, shady individuals that I didn't like how they worked. And so it was a learning experience, you know, and um, I feel like finally I got everybody that's in the right place and and, it, and, um, and it makes sense, like, you know, and they all get along as well, so it's all good. So let's talk about, um, you know, let's talk about this upcoming project that you're doing with uh, Pusha T that's coming out. Yeah, 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 I did this movie, um, I did this movie, um, uh, it's, it's, it's dope, man, like, it's gonna be a short film that he, uh, he asked me to play the lead character for him, and... It came out really cool. Like uh, it's directed by Kid Art, um, directed and produced by Diddy, and I think um, um, Jay Z, uh, Kanye. So it comes out December 18th, and you know I never played a role like that. So it, it's um, it's really cool. I can't really say too much about what it's about, but yeah, once y'all see it, y'all be blown away. And I, you know, I kind of had to, you know. And the cool thing about Pusher, man, he was so open to learn from me, you know, in terms of acting and taking, you know, notes that I was giving him and. He was dope, man, and 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 y'all are gonna love it. It's gonna be 15, 20 minutes. I think it's premiering at Art Basel this this weekend. So, just another thing to add to the to the resume. Exactly. And then power. How how you know the shooting of this season, uh, second season going so far? Oh, it's amazing, man. Third season is crazy. Like it's ten times better than the second one. Um, everybody's storyline is heightened and people have double lives and it's really cool and you know there's a lot of growth in my character with Dre that I'm excited about and um yeah it's been dope gotta ask you a lot of people really compare you know Empire to you know Power you guys a show so I gotta ask you like what's your thoughts on people comparing comparing it because I don't see really where either shows should be compared to about two different things two different calibers of a network. You know, what is your, you know, thoughts when you hear people, you know, compare, you know, both um, brands to each other? I mean, in anything, man, you know, people compare the best to the best, even if it doesn't make sense. Like, people are comparing LeBron James to Stephen Curry. They're two different players, but who's better? Da, 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 da. And, and so when you have that kind of, you know, caliber of excellence in both, <clears throat> in both shows, it's easy to compare things like that. And um, I think it's just good. For, I think it's really just good for for black people in general. Like, we got jobs, man. So, seeing that, you know, that the four biggest shows on TV are all black leads, whereas How to, Wait, How to Get Away with Murder, Scandal, Power, um, and Empire, like, <clears throat> regardless, like, they're all black leads. And it's just amazing that we're breaking the door down in TV now. So, it's not. It's two different shows, man. It's two different storylines. It's two different vibes, you know. So <clears throat> I never really understood the comparison, except that we we just black. Right. That's the same thing I said. Is I, it must be because it's a, you know two black brands, and you know people just want to put things up against each other. Because I mean, both shows are dope, mm-hmm. even though Empire's ratings are you know kind of dropping. The season really has fallen off. I don't know if you watched the show personally, but I can't stand to watch it <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what is going on? Like, literally, I'd be like, oh, Cookie's doing this now? Lucius, I was like, okay, I, I really don't care. Like, we got to pick up the momentum. And that's what I like about, you know, you got to show power. Like, you guys always have some kind of momentum there. There's always a substance. Like, it really is, like, the show. So now, um, let's talk about these music videos. Lotto, dope concept of a music video. How did you come up with that concept? Because I like the fact, like, it was like a, it really was like a fantasy. And then it actually, like, towards the end, those lottery numbers was actually a winning, you know, those winning numbers. Um, you talking about this, how the song came about, is that? Oh, well, yeah, the song in the video. Basically, the song in the video, well, me and 50 uh, were just talking one time about the video. Um, <clears throat> and... It just came up from, he had the idea, let's be janitors, and let's just do ignorant things with money. And I love that idea, and I say, yo, that's, that's, that's video right there. Then I called, you know, Luis, um, <clears throat> who, who played the, the head janitor in the video, and I, just, I told him, like, you know, look, man, like, he's never done a music video, and he said he wanted to do one. So I called him and asked him to do mine, and he loved the idea when I told him about it, and Eva Vera directed it. And I just wanted it to make, I just wanted to make it super fun because, People need to see that 
you know, a different side, like a, a little bit more personality from Dre, you know. And me and 50 wanted to shock people by having a sillier side because in the show we're so serious. So we didn't want to have fun with it. And the song just came about, the song actually came about from a mistake from, um, I won't say a mistake, but it, it, it was by chance that I heard um, the keys that the producer was playing and he was playing, he was trying to find a sound in another record while he was making another record. And mm. he heard the sound, I heard the sound and I was like, yo, what was that? And, um, he, it was the doom, 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 that, that part. He played it and I was like, whoa, what the heck is that? And then I just started coming up with, uh, she just hit the lotto and then I just hit, you just hit the lotto. And then they just said, no, why don't we just say I just hit the lotto? And then, it came about like that, man. But it was just truly God. It was truly, truly God, man. Right time. Everything just aligned because I wasn't even supposed, I didn't even think I was going to work with the producers that, that created the record. You know what I mean? Just thinking back on it, I went to go work with somebody else and he kind of put me on to, he was like, I'm a little too busy. Work with my young boys. And so mm. that's how we came up about it, man. So it wasn't anything planned at all. And then how about the uh, situations record? Because, I mean, when I first, like, seen a couple performances online and, you know, saw you performing, I was like, man, this record is about to be some shit. <laughs> and then to see, like, the video, <laughs> you know, come full about it and then, like, you perform this song more, I'm like, yo, this going to be a radio billboard problem. Mm, yeah, man. And um, situation again, man, um, I think situation again was just, like, I work a teamed up with this producer named Swag and we just vibed Swag out man. So let's just start from let's, let's just start from scratch and it just you know we both went in there to do melodies and I chose my favorite melodies from my 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 scratch and he, he chose his and we just pieced it together to make the record and we wrote the verses a couple different times you know and and just at first it was sounding way different and then I went back in and it was just a dope a dope vibe and I'm just really happy it came out that way, but it just feels so good to perform. And every time I hear it, it's just like, whoa, you know what I mean? So it's one of those. It definitely is. And when you uh, think about, like, the overall response to uh, the EP, like, what would you say, like, the response has kind of been for you? Oh, I mean, well, you know, in the first three weeks, we, we've done 100,000 downloads. And so... With people talking about it, yeah, man, with people talking about it and, you know, I guess the music is is, is uh, circulating and, and just by word of mouth, man, like, again, it's just an amazing feeling because I worked so hard to, to get this part of it known. Um, and it's just, it's just a blessing. And got to ask you before we let you go, since we're talking about music videos, being in the music video with Keisha Cole and then being in the music video with Kiki Palmer, what's it? What was it like being able to work with them as far as, like, you know, being, like, the leading guy in their videos? Because they, they're talented, especially to, you know, see Kiki come back, especially with a record like that, and then have you in the I Don't Belong to You video and Cassie. I was like, okay, she's going off, and <laughs> this video is crazy. Mm -hmm. um, it was dope, man. You know, working with Keisha, I was, I was like, well, I was really kind of just starting out in the industry, you know, and so it was. It was flattering, you know, that she handpicked me to call me the night before. Can I come to L.A. the next morning and do it? Um, and that was kind of flattering. And Kiki, too, man, they called me um, two, three days before. Uh, and it's just amazing, dog. It's just amazing just to be, you know, known as a quote-unquote heartthrob, you know. And, um, yeah, it was dope. It was really dope. Absolutely. So, bro, uh, what's, um, what's next for you? Because, I mean, you've got power. You've got the short film with. Push your tea. You've got or your Wednesday out. That's right now. That everybody can go download at Rotini Music. I mean, you've got a lot going on. So what's what's next that we haven't already discussed? Um. Well, right now, what's next is uh is basically just power. We got Deuce, uh, the movie Deuce is coming out. Me and John Boyega uh, got another movie called Imperial Dreams that's gonna come out. And um yeah, so it's it's basically that man. It's just um and then also my mix uh, my EP is gonna come out in the spring of next year um and yeah like it's just continue to grind and grind and grind and royal wednesday is out right now too so 
Um, yeah, what, what is it out right now that you can download it for free on my website, too, so. Absolutely. Well, Raw, i got to say congratulations again. It's so great to, you know, really see, you know, your progress, like, actually be, like, freaking out the roof right now, like, over the years, mm-hmm. like, as, you know, since we haven't, like, talking, like, because it really has been a minute. I've been like, yo, Ro is killing it. Every time I turn my neck, I'm like, he is killing it, still killing it, still killing it. Like, I'm, I'm like, seriously mm-hmm. proud of you, man. Like, keep, keep it up, because... Next thing you know, what you're gonna be you're gonna be Trey Song status. Trust me. Amen. Amen. You are headed there. Amen. So before we have you um, do a drop, let everybody know where they can follow you, like far as like your social media and everything's concerned. Oh, uh, well, you can follow me on Instagram, Roe Timmy Music, R O T I M I Music. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, Roe Timmy, R O T I M I. Uh, my website, RoeTimmyMusic dot com. And, yeah, just go get Royal Wednesday, man. I think a lot of people are just curious to see what it sounds like and, you know, can you really do it? What songs are really good? And I think people are really pleasantly surprised, and I love the reactions that we're getting. And it's just amazing, man. Just got to continue to spread the word about it.